Hello and welcome to modifying a pivot chart report. Exercise number nine from the Excel Custom Classroom Training Advanced Level Training Manual brought to you by Shift Key Solutions and I am Eric Ripley. All right, so we have here our pivot chart report. And what we want to do is modify this a little bit so it's easier to understand so that we can narrow this chart down to be very specific in which sales classes we want to include in our chart that will measure against 2008 to 2009. So our training manual gives us instructions to come up to our column labels here, click our drop down, and go through this step, these steps here. Well, it's just as easy to come to our chart itself and click the drop down here for sales class and you get the same menu. What I want to do is exclude several of these so that I only have eight remaining. Those exclusions will include our Apples Miami, the Melons, I'll scroll down and remove pears, stone fruit, tropical, scroll down and I'm all the way, and then the dried fruit figs dates. And then I'll click OK. Now I have a nice clean report that includes just those specific eight sales classes. Next, I want to change the sales class and the second week February locations to being the sales class as a horizontal axis and the second week to being a legend. So there's the training manual gives us instructions to come up to the axis field, right? Click on this and then go to move to legend field series and all this stuff. There's a quicker and easier way to do it. This, the easiest way to do this is to come to our design tab and over in our data group where it says switch row column, I'll click this and there it is. It just switches it up for me. Now, this is a pretty good report, but to make it even better, make it a little more legible and for that matter my goal is to create a chart that's inviting to read and easy to understand so I'm gonna come up make sure that I'm on my design tab and then over in the type group I'm gonna click change chart type what I want to do is choose a nice bar so I'm gonna click on bar and then I'm gonna choose the clustered bar then click OK now it's gonna be categorized like this for me next while yes this is a nice bar chart for me I want to include a title to it and what have you so the f one of the first things I'm gonna do so I'm gonna come up to the chart layouts group and click the layout 3 which will if I look at the preview in there I see a title at the top and the legend is at the bottom so I'm gonna click this see how it moves it around for me that's pretty nice so next right now it's just kinda of flat you know colors and stuff I wanna change the style of this so I'm going to come up to the chart styles group and click the more button for my gallery. And then the one of the most popular styles, I can choose any one of these, but the most popular I guess would be 26. If I click this, I can see that it gives it some depth, a little richness to each of our bars. So that looks pretty good so far. Now next, I want to move this from this worksheet to its very own worksheet. The way I do that is I make sure I'm on my design tab and I'm going to come over to the move chart, I'm sorry, location group and then click move chart. Now from here, I want to move it to a new worksheet and I'm going to name this fruit chart. And then I'm going to click OK. Now I have this in its very own worksheet as I can see here down in my worksheet area. So now a in the title, I want to click inside this title, and there's a couple of ways of adding data to this. If I click it one time and then click in the formula bar and just start typing, and I want to name this Major Fresh Fruit Sales Classes. And then from there, I'll press Enter, and it changes my title for me. Next, I want to convert or modify my horizontal axis here to include commas. It makes for a nice printout. So a couple ways of doing this. The quick way that I like to use is I'm going to put my cursor right over one of the numbers here and it gives me a screen tip here that says horizontal axis. I'm going to right click on that and then choose format axis. Now from this format axis dialog box I'm going to go to my number 
category and then click on numbers. I'm sorry, number. Make sure that this decimal place is zero and that use 1000 separator, meaning including a comma, is checkmarked. And then I'm going to click close. And there it is. It gives me my nice format here. That's all the time I have for this tutorial. Thanks for joining me. In the next tutorial, the final tutorial for exercise number nine, we're going to talk about including headers and footers. And in those header and footer, we're going to include a sheet name and then also a file name. So we're going to talk about how to add those to this and see and go over the differences of what it looks like to include a header or footer to a chart on its own sheet or header and footer on a worksheet itself. All right, thanks for joining me. And if you didn't know how to do this beforehand, well, now you know. And I encourage you to share this information with as many people who might need help with it. Thank you. Don't forget to comment. And by all means, subscribe. Take care.